Hi guys, so today we're working on my SUV. It's a 2010 GL 450. I gotta do the headliner, as you can see. But first I'm doing the uh, shocks, the rear shocks. I already got them. I know you can see a mess already. Kind of went through the process of taking this thing out. Uh, the main bolt for the shock is this one. The one that you gotta get to. And for that, I know there has been people that they have broken into the pad here and they have dig in there and find the bolt and they put it back on but then the pad stays loose so I don't want to do that uh, so yes I do have two tens on the back all right so basically I know this is all off and everything but just so you guys will see the perspective of one side to the other you got to take this back trim off uh, and that has let's see if I can just sit here that has two bolts right there so basically when you lift let's see here. okay when you lift the trunk up right on this area here that's where that's gonna sit on that's gonna have two bolts. There are uh, T30. So you have two T30s. You take this trim out. And then you have. Man, that's dirty. So then you have a couple of other bolts. You gotta take the weather strip out, okay, of the trunk. So you can easily remove it out of here. And it'll be easier. And then. So basically it's going to be the same thing on both sides you have this one here this one here and then that one right there okay you have those three bolts and then if you go to the uh, rear passenger you have um, take this trim out okay the floor trim you take that out so you can kind of move the weather strip out of the way and you're going to dispose these clamps, okay. This clamps right here. Basically, you hook it. You, guys. you hook it on on this little edge here. You kind of pull on it, and then you separate. It's just a little lip that it has, so it will move out of the way. And you do that on all those. That way, you kind of release the the bottom panel. And obviously, on this side, you're gonna have the sensors in the back. On that side, you're gonna have the uh, the outlet and the little light on the back. That's the only thing. Then you have your seatbelt. The seatbelt is right over here. I took uh, to the pliers, the pressure on it, and they came loose. And that's how I'm going to put it back in because I don't feel like taking it apart at the bottom seat to be able to remove that bolt. So that's that. And then after you have those disconnected, it's just a matter of basically pulling. It's going to pull, it's going to come out. And that's where I'm at right now. Obviously, you don't have this. You have a container. Not a container, but you have a little pocket there that you have to take it out. But, like I said, I have my, my speaker in there, and it comes out easily. And you have your rear seatbelt. So it doesn't even stay in the way. What you're going to do is, this panel, you lift it up. And you're gonna see where the bolt is for the seatbelt. You take that off, and you can move out of, this, out of the way. That way, it's just basically a straightforward. And then when you're gonna do the headliner, it's basically gonna be the same concept back here. You have to remove it. Why? Because of those bolts. You got bolts here. You got bolts on that pillar, and the same thing on the other side to be able to release the panel. Because this panel is the overlay on top of the headliner, so. That's what that is. I know. This looks disgusting. I gotta get it done. So probably that's gonna be the next thing that I'm gonna do. But right now, I had the shocks for a little while now. And I've been pushing it and pushing it to get it done. So that's where I'm at. But, I mean, um, the shocks, they have a big old bolt on the bottom. Then you're gonna have to remove. It's gonna be that one guy right there. I don't know if you can see it, but you can't miss it. 
obviously you just follow the shop and you're gonna see it right there so that's gonna be that and that's about it so that's the bowl that you got to trace inside the car to be able to replace the shock and from there it's just a matter of bolting everything back together all right guys like always like share subscribe and this is how you replace the uh, the shocks you guys um I mean, I will show you guys how to remove it, but it's just pointless. The, the hardest part is getting there. So, alright guys, to the next one. I know I haven't posted it in a little bit, and I have a few videos that I gotta upload. But I just haven't had a chance to. So, alright guys, later. Like the video, share, comment, and if you guys have any questions, I'll gladly answer them and help you guys. Alright, later guys.